action. Hey, what's going on? Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and... Maya. <laughs> we got a pretty fun and exciting night tonight. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we are live. Everybody, let's do a quick audio check. Quick audio check. And visual. Does everybody hear us and see he and <laughs> hear us and see us? God, <laughs> I can't even talk tonight. Does everybody hear me? What's good? What's good? All right. For you guys, just put in the chat really quickly where you're from and how many times you've been on. Also, if you're just getting on right now, give me or give Maya the thumbs up. Because <laughs> Cause we want to see 32, Because I mean 35 because 35 Well, we're going to have watching. 100 people on tonight. I would think I so. I hope so. Yeah, so hit the like button if you're just getting on tonight. Uh, what's up, Carlos from Orlando, Montreal, Tampa, Florida. What's going on, Tony and Maya, Jim Jim says. Seventh what? time. What's yeah. going on, oh. Jim Jim? Jim? El Paso, Texas. We got another Texan in the house. Awesome, guys. Seventh time. Wow. Thank you, guys. Toronto in the house. Tony Vaz, what's going on, baby? 11, Houston, Texas. Mike, I want you to read some out. Texas. Right, Texas. Austin, Texas. I'm a good reader. Alex from Taco Shop. Um, <laughs> Tucson. Tucson, Arizona. Um, where you come to the part of the world. Okay, thumbs up. What, what up, Tony the Tiger? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Ex -pub Pueblo. Pueblo. Pueblo, Colorado. <laughs> Pueblo, Colorado. Where okay, else? Let's see. Lake Ma Worth, Florida. Jose Lopez. In no. Mommy, for Who else? Fo Florida. Lake with Florida. Okay, Florida is a lot of Good Florida. evening, good evening. Columbus, Ohio, Georgia. Georgia. The big GA. I don't know what that is, but okay. Side smiley face. Oklahoma, Nebraska, Lake, Lakeland, Florida. Good job. <laughs> oh, Oklahoma. Good job. The tornado city. Oh, wow. 55 already. 57 already. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Guys, we have a really exciting night tonight. Thank you guys for getting on today. Mumbles, 552, um, Virtual BC, Canada. Victoria. Victoria. British okay. Columbia, Canada. Wheeling, Wheeling West, West Virginia. Virginia. VIP, VIP Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. What's up, Driveway Auto Body? Santa I'm Claus so coming from the North Pole. Pole. Yeah. It's Cincinnati, scary. Ohio. It's scary. How Michigan, did Santa Mike from Tulsa. Mm, hi, hi, Tony. Tony. What's up, Axel? Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween. Ha, yeah. Ha, ha. I'm a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a cat today. <laughs> okay, guys. Quick, quick uh, little real demo tonight. Damn, I got to light my incense up again. I'll hold the computer. Should I? No, we, no, we got it right here. We got All it right, right here. We got to light this up. Yeah, some mosquitoes have been biting me. It made me a big. Ugh. But if you don't, if you don't, it's just much better. It's like you're lighting up your smoke. <laughs> Too bad I don't smoke. Yeah, smoking's not good. I think you can die faster with that. <sighs> Okay, we're doing this because we got a little bit of mosquitoes in the house. I know. What's up, Jose, Ohio? Jose. All right. Yeah. Okay, hey, friend, we're in Oklahoma. I lived here for 29 years. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Joe's, Joe's, hey, Joe's let's Ohio, Let's get to the content. Virginia. We got to get to the content. All right. Sorry. We got to get to the content here. Okay. Got it. All right, guys. Okay. So, in front of you, we got a BMW. M edition. I already buffed out the headlight on this side. I don't know if you noticed the difference. Can you guys see the difference? Probably it's a, it's a lot more clearer on this side here. This side done. It looks really, yeah, really I good. Yeah, I think they can see it. Yeah, that side we're going to be doing right now. Can you move your yeah. state, please? Scooter. Scooter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I hope the lighting is good, guys. All right, so let's let's take a close up. Close up on 
on the finished product here. I just literally did this five minutes ago. Not even five minutes, maybe, maybe 10 minutes ago. I wanna make sure you can see how clear it is. Okay, it looks brand new. And it only takes like six or seven minutes to do this. And you could do this to your own car. Now let me show you the side that we, that we didn't do yet. You could see how it's kind of a little hazy, right? This is, a, this is a 2000 BMW. So the light is 16 years old right now, okay? And obviously, sometimes if they're in worse, con you know, out in the sun a lot, you're going to get them a lot more yellower and dingier looking than this. You are going to get little rock chips, right? And that's normal. That You really can't take a, a lot of that out. Uh, but we can wash off the grime. There's a lot of grime dead bugs, right, and just grime on it. I mean, I did wash it, but we're going to wash it down with 2,000 grit very, very quickly, okay, and then we're going to buff it out. So, like I said, move this, please, honey. Okay, if we look at my whiteboard really quickly, what's up, guys? I want to make sure that we're getting the whiteboard here. And don't mind this because it the video is lagging. So for me to see what's on the screen, it takes a little bit of time uh, to really get a good view of what everything looks like here. Okay? Just want to make sure we're good. It's, it's hard to picture the angle. Oh, well, I think that's good. I have no video. Guys, good job. Julia from Brazil, awesome. Okay, so there's two ways. Can you move that light so it shines to us, please, okay. Miss Helper? Just move it. Just, hey, little, there you go. Great. Okay, so there's two ways to buff headlights. All right, and there's pros and cons of the both ways. The first way is to clear coat them. Right. Some people use 1K clear coat, which is basically rattle can clear coat. I don't know if I have any right now. But maybe I do. No, I don't. I don't. But the first way is using rattle can clear coat like this, 1K. It's just the cheap stuff that you clear coat. The other way is using the automotive clear coat, really good clear coat. Arkansas in the house. All right? So to do that, you would basically sand it with around 1,500 grit and give it two coats of clear coat. You could even go with 1,200 grit and two coats of clear coat, then you're done. Okay, so you could go, you could use 1K clear, 1K, or 2K, and, one, and 1K is the cheap stuff, 2K is the automotive, you know, mixing with hardeners, all right? The, the only problem when clearing headlights is if you don't do it right, if you don't sand all around it properly, I mean, even all the way over to the light, you're going to get chipping in maybe about a year. It's going to start to bubble up and peel. All right, and it, it all depends. If you use 1K clears, they probably last about a year, year and a half, and then they start to get yellow and dingy looking. That's why I don't really like to clear. If I do clear, I will use an automotive clear coat, all right? And that does last long. The only problem is if you ever get any reaction – then you're really gonna have a lot to take off and sand if you wanna redo it, okay? The other way is sanding it with 2,000 grit, okay? You don't need to sand a little, with, with clear coat, you wanna sand with about 1,500 to, to 1,200 grit sandpaper before clearing, okay? Before clearing. When, if you're doing color sand, if you're buffing it, you would sand with 2,000 grit. Sandpaper, wet sand. And that's what we're gonna be doing tonight. What I like about this is, is you don't have to go mixing any clear coat, right? You don't have to go crazy and mask up or take the light off to do the job. You could do the job right on the car. It's quick and it's easy. And it only takes about 10 minutes to do. Very, very simple, very quick. You just wash off the grime and dirt with 2,000, 
and then you get your regular wool pad with the buffer. You buff it out with compound. You could use any compounds you got around the house. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Nowadays, they sell the headlight refinishing kits that you can go buy and spend 20, 30 bucks on. You really don't need to do that. You could do it with the same materials you have in your garage if you're doing a little bit of body work, right? Same exact materials for color sanding and buffing paint, all right? And then you get your wool pad, you use the glaze, same exact stuff we use on the car, we use on a headlight, and you get the job done, very simple. And, and listen to this, I was doing this, you know, 15 years ago to all my customer cars, to all my cars, before they even came out with headlight refinishing products, you know? And then they had a whole, that was a whole new market to come out with products and 3M started dominating, they had all these things, right? So for you guys in here right now, give us a thumbs up. If you're watching, give us a thumbs up. We have 79 people. We should see 79 likes. So let's go ahead. So this is the deal. So sanding and buffing, the pros are it's quick and easy. The con is sometimes they don't last as long and you may need to redo it maybe once every eight to 12 months. Maybe it depends on how much sunlight exposure your headlights are getting. Okay, so if you do the buffing way and your car is always in the sun, right, maybe in about a year they're going to start to get dull again. But all you have to do is rinse it with 2000 and give it a quick buff. You know what I mean? It's really not a big deal. And I personally like buffing them out, you know, because I keep my car in the garage anyway. And the headlights, once you do them, they're going to last. They're going to look really nice for a long time. So are you guys ready to get started with some color sanding and buffing? Oh, of the headlight. Okay, so let's get started. I want to make sure the uh, visual is good here. I want to make sure you get a good visual. Okay, let's go like right around here. I want to make sure you got a good visual. So. You guys tell me if this is a good visual as far as the headlight. And I'm going to open up the hood. I agree. Buffing is the way to go. Yeah, I mean, buffing, it's quick and it's easy. And this is how I've always done it. A few times, the only time I like to clear coat is if, if you're tinting your clear coat and you want to black out your lights. So clear coat, I like to do on my tail lights if I want to put a little blackout to them. Okay, that's that's the only time I and I plan to black out my my tail lights on this BMW. So if you guys want to see that, I'm going to be putting all that in the VIP as well, and I'll also have that on YouTube. What the heck, right? All right, so let's make sure you guys got a good view. Let me open up the hood. Okay. Now, we got some 2000 grit, and it's, it's nice to mask it up this way you don't get grime all, all over the place, right? Uh, so how's the view, guys? The view okay? Right corner was better angle. Okay. Okay, let's go from, the, from here, and you guys tell me what's up. Ooh, my. Okay. I just want to make sure you guys get a good view. Maybe this is a pretty good view for you. All right, you tell me. Is this better or, or what? Is this better? Okay, yeah, this actually might be a pretty good view for you right here. Okay, let's roll with this for now. Sweet. Okay, so if you guys want to time me, you could time me but this is a very, very quick process. So we got 2000 grit wet sand, a little bit of bucket water, and we just do this by hand, right? I'm just, the grime, right? You're gonna notice there's a lot of grime on your headlight, okay? And I've timed myself doing these. It really only takes two minutes or, or like a minute to sand, right? And then a couple of minutes to buff. So it's a very, very, very quick and easy process. Maya's counting. Okay, so you could see the yellow, you could see the yellow dinginess coming out. All right, and that's normal. 
All right, we just want to clean it. And this is basically the 2000 grit. You could use the palm of your hand. The 2000 grit is, is basically cleaning the headlight, right? The, the lens here, taking off all the old grime, 16 years of grime, okay? And just getting it ready for buffing. And this light is not totally secured. I just put it in here today. And I like doing it on the car because it's, it's held in, you know what I mean? You could do it off the car as well, take your headlight out, but it's gonna, you know, you're gonna have to find a way to secure it. So I like actually doing it on the car. Um, so I'm done, I'm done sanding. I'm just kind of overkilling it right now because I want it to come out nice for you guys. Okay, so this is pretty much washed and done. You okay? What? Okay, so easy a girl can do it. Go ahead. Just two seconds, three seconds, Maya. Okay, I'm going to get the buffer ready in the background. Okay, thank you, Maya. You're going to wash it up for me? Great. Great, excellent. Thank you. Okay, so she washed it for me. And if you guys have kids, save your baby clothes, your old baby clothes. That they don't fit anymore. Yep, so you could just, just give, wipe it a, them off. <laughs> give it a quick wipe here so it doesn't get too wet yeah. around here. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we'll do that. And you just got to make sure you don't get the buttons to scrape your paint, yeah. right? So just make sure you, you got that covered. Yeah. Okay, so now you can see how dry, I mean, better it is. How it looks matte. You can see how it looks kind of like foggy now, right? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm using my Auto Magic, the same stuff that I color sand and buff with. Okay? And we're just gonna get some very quickly and just put a little on like that two times and we're gonna start buffing it out. Here we go. You guys getting this so far? You guys getting it? Good? Okay. Bit more. 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 <laughs> Mr. Mocha. Mr. More. Hamoka. More. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, oh, I see a lot of thumbs up. I want to. I want to see some eighty-three thumbs up because we have eighty-three people. At least get to a hundred tonight.
All right, pretty much it. Now I'm going to go ahead and use our wool pad. Not our wool pad. I was using our wool pad. I saw somebody just comment, what pad are you using? I'm using the wool pad. The yellow pad is a lot finer wool. There's a, there's a synthetic string uh, mixed in it, which, which makes it uh, a lot more softer than the white wool pad. So there's synthetic strings in here. Okay, and this is a good overall buffing pad. I like these yellow ones a lot more than the white ones. So now we're going to be using our foam pad with our air vents in it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and match it up uh, right here to our buffing wheel. <laughs> Where's my hole? So we want to make sure it stays cool. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and use our regular swirl, swirl mark remover. Okay, and once we do that, uh, we go ahead and put a little bit of wax on it and we're good. I'll do the wax. Whoa. That's it, guys. Now what we do is take this off. I wish there were 100 people because I never get to see 100 people. Last time when I was in here, there was 103 people, right? Yeah, when you were in here. We got 81 tonight. Aww. Really, 81? 83. Oh, God. If we go from this way over here to take it off in one shot, we'll go slowly, slowly that way, pull this way. And this is just all compounds here. What about that line? That's just compounds. Ooh, it's wet. It'll come right out. Okay. All right, so now we can show everybody the wax what it looks like. Wax right, on, wax off. That's on, that's on. Where is the wax. where's the purple? It's right here. I'll get Grab it. Grab it. All right, guys, we are almost done. Final step. I like this stuff. It's called Wizards. All right, it's a spray-on wax. You're in the light, Maya. Oh, sorry. Okay, one shot like that. Spray-on wax just to seal the pores up here with what we did. And remember, my light is just sitting in there. It's not. Bolted in. I still have to adjust my headlights. I just popped them in there today um, Just to get things going Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is close the hood and you'll be able to see the finished product and How nice it looks my you're in the light. Sorry Okay, that's pretty much it, guys. Pretty simple, easy to do. Your headlight looks brand new again. We'll go here. You take a look. You guys can see the difference there with that. Okay. It's super smooth now. Yeah, I got a little bit of tape on here, but all that will rub out. So you can see how nice it looks. Yeah, there's a little bit of rock chips, light rock chips, that you're really not gonna take out. But again, I mean, look how clear it looks now inside. It looks super black. Right? You could see the difference, pretty cool. It is pretty cool. And let's take a look at the front. Overall, it looks really good now. Now the front of the car, looks pretty new now, right? Yeah, it, it looks it looks pretty good. So did you guys enjoy that so far? The wizard is a spray rack wax, correct? 10 minutes. Yeah, and that's 10 minutes, you know, instructing as well, you know what I mean? So it came out really really good, I think, and it really makes the front of your car 
look brand new. You know, once you, there we go. You know, once you do both headlights, and I've, I've, had, I've had very, very yellow headlights, like very bad, and it does make a difference, all right? It's, it's better to do them than not to do them, that's for sure. You know, I've had like really, really old, like 1990s cars with very bad, but sometimes when they get yellow from the inside, sometimes you're going to get them so old and so ugly, they get yellow on the outside and inside. And when they get yellow on the inside, that's when you really can't do nothing. You know, you got like a piece of crap headlight, right? How much buffer speed? It looks slow. Well, I was using about 1,700, 1,700 RPM. You don't want to go too fast. 1,700, especially if you're doing around corners, you're going to get hung up on something and have a big problem. So other than that, you know, the headlight looks really good. It makes the front of the car look sick. Smooth like butter. Yeah. Yeah. I think it made, I see it. Oh, yeah, it made a little damage. No, huh. I can show you. See that? See those little two bumps? Let me see. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, all right, guys. So I, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed. Hope all is well. <gasps> oh. oh, no. What are the products you use in Sandpaper Grit? Rewind the video. Yeah, we got a replay. <laughs> Watch the replay. It's 2000 Grit. What's up, Mike in Alabama? 2000 Grit, and we used regular buffing products. It doesn't have to be any certain material that you use. As long as you got like a, a buffing compound around the house or whatever you're doing in your garage, any kind of buffing compound will work. All right, and then you hit it with a little bit of uh, glaze if you have any, and uh, a little bit of spray wax or hand carnauba wax, whatever you got, just to seal it up. What? Looks great. I'm bringing 75 Pinto over. Pinto. He's bringing the 75 Pinto. What's Pinto? Awesome. What's a Pinto? Uh, Pinto is an is an old car, old style oh. car. Okay, hey Tony, when you're buffing a car, do you remind taping up the gaps of the vinyl, or is there a way from keeping the compound bu from built from the um, getting yeah. in the gap? Uh, if you want, yes, if you can, if you want to tape it up, you could tape it up to get to get the uh, you know compound away from the cracks and and, and gaps. But I usually like to give the car a complete detail when I'm done anyway. So I've never worried about that, you know, because when you're buffing the car, you're buffing the car and, you, you know, that you're still not done with the complete job and, and detail process. So I usually don't worry about it because when I'm done with my buffing, then I'll wash the car down, I'll open the doors, I'll hit, I'll get all the buildup, compound buildup, wash it out, make it nice, and, and that's that. You know what I mean? Uh, what it says? Hey Tony, my first time live. I'm very happy to be with you from Ethiopia. Awesome, thank you guys. Do you fix inside yellowing of headlights, or is it better to replace? I don't know. You could try to fix inside. I've never messed with it. What grit to send OEM paint over? I mean, if the clear is already nice, I mean, I don't know what you're trying to do. Are you trying to just take out orange peel? I would be very careful with that. I would maybe go with the 3,000 grit, 2,500, 3,000 grit. Uh, if you're cutting, because the paint is very, very thin on OEM paints. Mm. You know, very thin. Uh, thing. Think I'm new to Korea. Do you think, okay, I already read that. I am enjoying your VIP course, Tony. It, it has me motivated. motivated to work on some cars I, that, I I ha have. that I have. I have that needs to be done. done. Awesome, Francis Soto. New VIP, first time, Matt from Michigan. What's up, Matt? How you doing, buddy? Thanks for the support. McGuire's. McGuire's. 
Yeah, 3M, 3M bought out. Paint just needs refresh. Want to send OEM and repaint. So if you're going to be repainting the car, I would sand it out with like four to 600 grit and then repaint it. Aloha, brother. Matt, where are you from? Hawaii? Maybe so Oahu. yeah, so for all the new guys getting on right now, if you haven't seen it, rewind the video because we did a live demo tonight on the BMW here, uh, right over here, uh, and, and restoring the headlights tonight. So that's what we did. It came out really good. I gave you a little bit of um, whiteboard instruction. We got too much stuff in mind. Can you please clean up the floor? Get all this stuff out of the way. Eight oh eight, baby, transplant to Michigan. <laughs> Thank you. That was my plan. Yeah. So driveway auto body. If you're going to be painting a brand new car or a, a newer paint job, all you have to do is sand your clear coat. You know, get it nice and matte, flat. You know, flat with four hundred grit, even six hundred. I I personally think four hundred is a good grit to paint over, but some people like to use six hundred. So I say, I say four to six hundred grit. Um, and the lights look amazing. Uh, it, it's something I've been wanting to do. Oh, another thing I'm going to do with this BMW here is we're going to order a brand new emblem because the emblem was all messed up. And what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of blacking out my grills. What do you guys think? You're right, eh? I learned so much from your VIP course. Keep up the good work, Tony. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you for the support. So I'm thinking of blacking out my grills. What do you guys think? Flat black, uh, plasti dip black. I'm going to dip them black. They're going to be like a, a nice flat color. What do you think? I'm going to boss out the front, make it flat, all black. And then I'm going to put the, the brand new logo on it, uh, the emblem. And I think it's going to look really tight. Well, black it out, the whole front. If you're going to do black, you should do shiny black, like put. Oh, I mean, these are. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Because if it's just black, then it should be like that color, the mirror inside. I think it looks good like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta take these apart and uh, thank you, Carl. really fit them in. Well, Daddy, thank you, Carl. But Daddy paid for them. Paid yeah. for it. Well, thank you for giving it to us. I paid a lot of money for this car. Really? Yeah, of course. How much was it? I'll tell you later. All right. Two so seven. basically, satin black, black and red. Your daughter's adorable. Can the headlights be blackened? Yes, Tony Vaz. Like I said, oh, here, here is my, uh, my plan. Here is my plan with the back. I'll show you. I think it's gonna look really good at plastic dip. Let me go around this way. Oh shit. What? I'm like blocked in. <laughs> I know. I thought you were gonna help me move everything. I didn't think you're, you meant those stuff. Hold on, guys. All right, let me just read some stuff. I'm with your daughter, okay, girls, like group up. Okay, sorry. Thank you. Plasti dip black is dull looking. I personally don't like it. Hey, I agree. Okay. So my plan for the back. I don't know if you guys see the back, I want to make sure you see the back. Okay, the back. This is plasti dip. This is all dipped. I just wanted to see how it would look. And what I plan to do is wet sand my tail lights and mix some clear coat with black base and tint my tail lights black. So I'm thinking of blacking out my tail lights. So this way it's going to be like all black like this, kind of like a big black bar across the back. I think that would look kind of different and cool. 
Um, not black, black, but just like a smoke, a smoke gray, smoke gray. And then I'm ordering a Euro spoiler, okay, like this, a Euro spoiler, and I'm going to paint it red. So this, so the back of this car is going to have a... We call it like a yeah, it's gonna look really good. Like bad pipe shifts. How did you tint clear? You just mix a little bit of black base in it. I do like glossy black as well. I do like glossy as well. I'm a glossy guy. I'm not really into plasti dip, to be honest with you. So I was actually thinking of doing this. I did it plasti dip black just so I can get an idea because I could easily peel this off and just sand it down and paint it gloss black. Okay, and again, if you want to tint, you just mix a little bit of black base coat in your clear coat. I actually have videos on that in VIP step by step on how on the on the correct mixtures of all of that. Be careful, Maya. Um, but I think that's gonna look cool. Cold winters in Michigan. Is it smart to use a propane blower heater to paint in my garage? Well, as long as that, yeah, no problem. As long as your 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 propane uh, heat is not in the garage, if you have a a blower blowing in the heat, I don't think you'll have a problem. A satin black would be a better match. Yeah. So I mean, a satin. I would think this plastic did. And then we also got these things that I gotta finish up. I'm thinking of. Uh, I was thinking of gloss blacking them. Here, I love black. gloss black, but I, I also think the red just looks fine, you know. You know, just but I think they need to be painted, they're a little they're a little old looking, you know. So, I'm thinking gloss black would be cool as well, or for the side here, but a little bit more. Um, I'm also planning on dropping the car one inch with some HR suspension, right? Dropping it, putting the spoiler in the back. And uh, I think it's pretty much done after I buff out the hood. It's going to look like a really hot car, you know. So that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's show tonight. Um, quick little color sanding and buffing the headlights. And uh, Maya, anything you want to say? Mm, I want... Oh, you're going to show them the drawing you did? Uh, no. No? Look, she did a drawing before you guys came on tonight. But it, I did, it's and not I, how I thought I it was it. really cute. It's not how I usually do it, but it's hard with marker. Yeah. You know, I don't Here. She's actually a pretty good artist, but she just was playing around with the big fat marker. <laughs> and she did, she did me here when I was working on but something. But on moving. And I kept on moving, so my head turned into like a peanut. <laughs> an egg. And I look very fatter than I usually am. I think I, I think like I had this. too much soda here. You're actually like this. Okay, and she did me spray painting a car. And she did her helping, kind of helping with some buckets and stuff right over now, here. This is blue. This is red paint. That's blue paint. So And it looks like you drew the Miata with the headlight. No. What is this that? Is that, but that but the spray gun is painting red. Oh, that That's looked like the front of a Miata. Oh, the, the Headlight, eyes. yeah. Oh. So look, people are saying, hey, that looks good. Wow, looks great. Awesome art. That is great, Maya. Thank you. Bell bottoms. Yeah, <laughs> bell bottoms. What does that mean? Here, the bottom. If the bottom is like that. It's called bell bottoms. They used to have clothes oh, like that. It, yeah, like um, the, what do you call it? Back in the day. Uh-huh. Back in the day. Like, uh, what do you call it? Saturday Night Fever. That All right, guys. I want to say thanks for getting on tonight. Uh, we're way past the half hour, my usual time. Um, please hit the like button if you haven't yet. And um, we will see you guys on next week. Where am I going to be next week, Thursday? Oh, next week, Thursday, will I will be flying to Vegas, but I might be able to do the, 
I might be able to do the live stream. You're going next week? Yeah, I'm going next week to SEMA. Anybody going to SEMA? God. I'll be in SEMA next week for a couple days. Oh my God, that is so God. Yeah, so anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow, uh, next week, hopefully. If I don't see you guys on next week, it'll be the week after because I know I got to head to the airport and... Um, Read that one. And... Uh, Read that one up there. Hey, Tony, I think... Maya, Maya is, is your motivation, motivation. To, do, that to do all the job and a good job. What does a motivation mean? Like you're, you're my motivation in life. What's the motivation though? You didn't tell me what the motivation is. Motivation is, like is a the desire to do something. What's a desire? Yeah. Desire. Love the rims. Oh. Didn't get invited. I don't know why. All right, guys. Thank you so much for getting on tonight. Uh, any newbies want to check out the VIP program, all you got to do oh. is go or here, let me give you a free auto body and paint manual if you've never gotten it before. I'll just put it in right over here. There you go, guys. All right, free auto body manual. And I'll see you guys on next week. Again, if I'm not on next week, Thursday, it's because I'm at, I'm like on the, at the airport going to SEMA. Um, so I will see you the week after that, but I will try to get on because I know my flight's like at pretty at like pretty late at night. Oh, God. Okay. Good night, guys. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you so much. I will see you guys on next week, if not the week after. Say bye, Maya. Bye. <laughs> and bye. See you guys. Cheers. Thank you guys for getting on.